keep throwing around this fucking word. Like, do they even know what the fuck that means? They keep saying creative vision. Throwing that word around like it's this and that. Not realizing creative vision means creative vision when it's your own. But when you're doing someone else's story, dumbass, guess what? It's no longer your vision. <laughs> it's ours. It's plural, bitch, not singular. Meaning you can't be selfish with your vision when Star Wars is not yours. You're making a story from someone else's vision. George Lucas, it's not your vision. If you want to create a story with your own vision, then make your own story. When it's someone else's work, you have to be loyal to that vision, you idiot. Like Brian Johnson's narcissistic, self-absorbed ass, talking shit about people who critique his movie. When this idiot had the nerve to try and critically assess something he refused to do thorough research on. So who the fuck are you to talk? Like I said before, you come across as a hypocrite. Then this is what really gets me. Because, again, Star Wars isn't yours, you fucking idiot. But they still say this stupid shit anyway. Oh, well, you're just trying to interfere with my created vision. No, Star Wars does not belong to Dave Filoni. It does not belong to Ryan Johnson. It belongs to George Lucas. But the thing is, it doesn't just belong to anyone. He's the only one. It doesn't belong to Ryan Johnson. It doesn't belong to Dave Filoni. They are continuing his work. So they have to be loyal to that work. I'll give you an example. Dave Filoni always has issues with being loyal to the continuity of Star Wars. He doesn't care. He just wants to get his vision out there. Okay, then make your own shit. Don't do Star Wars then because you have to maintain what it is. And this idiot forgot that Shmi Skywalker, Sam Witwer had to actually remind him when he's the one making these shows. Let me introduce you to my wife, says Vader. Um, didn't you get introduced to Shmi? Shmi met Padme in A Phantom Menace. Sam Witwer pointed this out, and Dave Filoni took his hat off. Let that sink in. He knows he fucked up when he takes off that hat. The problem is that these creators and Disney disregard their own continuity and don't even do research on what Star Wars is. But these same motherfuckers want to get up in arms about my vision when Star Wars isn't yours. You're not making a me movie. And this is a Star Wars movie. It's not yours. If you really want that kind of creative freedom, just make your own idea, dumbass. If making something for DC, I gotta be lower to fucking DC. DC. Nobody complains when people say this about DC or Marvel. But when someone says this about Star Wars, you got sniveling cocksuckers bitching and moaning about who all Star Wars fans do is peach hate. Fuck you! People are saying to be loyal to the world and universe. And if people are doing this with DC and Marvel, who are you to trash someone for asking for this and criticizing the fact that it isn't there? Why are you hating on people who critique this? It needs to be critiqued because that's a double standard. Marvel gets people who research this shit and are loyal to it. DC gets it too. How unfair, but not Star Wars. Instead, you get this self-absorbed idiots who really should just make their own show or movie. They go against the vision, don't do research, or give a fuck, and just care that, oh, this is my staple on Star Wars, when it means so much more than that, and that's what I'm laying down. This was Tarragon, and to those of you out there, my subs, yo, yo, what it is, what's up, let me know what's going on, and I am now out this piece.